Welcome back to the genius of invention. Tonight from BT Control Room, the National Network Center in Shropshire. From the screens behind me, we can keep track of the 200 million phone calls which go to, from and around the UK every single day. We are a chatty lot. We take this instant worldwide contact for granted, but it relies on an extraordinary network of connections. And this network can be traced back to a number of engineering breakthroughs, many of them British. In this series, we're exploring the colourful inventors, inventions and Britain's role in shaping the modern world. Because nothing has shrunk the globe more than our subject tonight, instant communication. So far in the series, we've discovered how heavy machinery gave us power. And the quest for efficient engines enabled us to travel further and faster. But tonight, it's the invisible world of electricity that drove something even more fundamental to us, connecting with others. I'm Michael Mosley, and as ever, I'm joined by my own lovely geniuses, Professor Mark Miodovnik and Dr. Cassie Newland. Hi. Together, we're going to unravel the great stories behind the communications revolution that allowed us to move from a world of handwritten notes, pigeons, and waving flags to the instant digital world we see around us. We will follow a trail of invention born out of our innate desire for social contact. From the electric telegraph, to the telephone, and finally, wireless communication. All three harnessed the seemingly magical power of electromagnetism to send messages over a distance, with each scientific advance creating new ways to interact. Our timeline begins almost 200 years ago with Cook and Wheatstone's electric telegraph, an invention that launched the first information superhighway and led to a wired up globe. The dream of an interconnected world bound by telegraph wires was one step closer. Forty years later came the transmission of the human voice with Bell's telephone. We could now talk across oceans and continents. But this most personal of technological revolutions required a social revolution too. Victorian society was governed by all kinds of rules and rituals and matters of etiquette. The telephone cut across it all, and people found it awkward and uncomfortable. 